Hello, and thanks for watching our Cyber Command demo today. Today's video will show how Cyber Command and FortiGate work together to automatically deal with threats in the network. First, let's take a look at the topology. As you can see, we usually mirror switch traffic to the Cyber Command probe to collect and analyze the threat information. Next, we look at the display. First, we configure the correlation policies between FortiGate and Cyber Command. Create a correlation policy and check the connectivity between FortiGate and Cyber Command to ensure the link status is normal. Create an automatic response policy using Cyber Command. When risky traffic is detected in the intranet, it will work with FortiGate to block the IP of the infected PC so that there is no need to manually deal with the risky hosts. After ensuring there are no configuration issues, we will use a real virus to generate attack traffic and link FortiGate and Cyber Command. Here we are running the attack program on the test computer to launch an attack against other computers in the intranet. The attack traffic will be mirrored to the STA using the switch. Now that attack traffic has been generated on the network, let's see how Cyber Command and FortiGate are linked to automatically deal with network threats. Check the security events on Cyber Command. If the STA recognizes the attack traffic, it will generate a corresponding security log and synchronize the security log to Cyber Command. Here you can see a security log generated on Cyber Command. After a moment, you can see that Cyber Command has issued a policy to FortiGate to block the IP address of the PC that generated the malicious traffic. Here we see that FortiGate has blocked the risky IP. Next, we will view the detailed Cyber Command security log. First, view the execution of the automatic response policy. You can see that the automatic response policy we created has been executed once. If you want to view the correlation details, click Hits, where the detail correlation information is recorded. If you want to check which hosts are infected or have been attacked, you can check the security status of the host. Here you can see that Cyber Command has identified the risky host and automatically processed it, changing the status to Fixed. If you want to check which malicious links the suspicious host has accessed, you can filter and query the security log using Cyber Command. The malicious links accessed by the risky host will be recorded in the logs. Finally, let's verify whether the suspicious host was really blocked successfully. When we try to access the internet using the test PC, we can't connect. The IP address of the test PC has been blocked using FortiGate and is unable to access the internet, stopping the generation of malicious traffic. Thank you for watching today's video. For more information on how Sangfer Cyber Command works with FortiGate to deal with network threat, visit us online or email us directly and let Sangfer make your IT simpler, more secure, and valuable.